Overcoming adversity is something many athletes tend to experience, and adversity looks different for everyone. For a Culbertson, Montana basketball player, she's had to overcome many challenges from day one. Get it, Laura! Get it! 11-year-old Lauren Rumsey has been playing basketball for about a year now but the road wasn't easy for her. She was born prematurely at just 24 weeks, weighing one pound, seven ounces, and spent 13 weeks in the NICU. Lauren was born with cerebral palsy. It affects her from the waist down, which is why she wears leg braces. She does wear AFOs, um, which are braces that go from just below her knee down to her ankles um, and keep her foot in an L shaped. So it, she runs on her tippy toes, so in the you know, in the story or the video that um, you would see, she um, runs a little bit different than the other kids, but it doesn't stop her. She hustles her butt all the time, right? Yeah, goes after the ball, things like that. So mm -hmm. it may limit her, but it doesn't stop her. Lauren has gotten creative with the sport she plays because of her disability. When she started doing Taekwondo, it was, she was doing them with braces um, and her shoes and now in the last couple of years she's um, graduated out of that and just doing it without her braces and shoes so we knew that if we kind of pushed her a little bit um, she could she could do it another sport she's taking a shot at basketball so i could hang out with my friends more lauren's physical constraints have limited her on the court but that's okay did you care that you weren't scoring points or making baskets i mean I was thinking, like, it would be fun to make one, but... But it wasn't that big of a deal? No. Yeah. In mid-December, the Colbertson Titans competed in a basketball tournament in Williston. Their final game was against Bismarck's Her Story. Bismarck's head coach was watching Lauren the entire game. By far, Lauren, you are the strongest girl I've ever had the pleasure of coaching against. When she decided to sit out towards the end, Wise Spirit had other plans. And I was like, hey, put her in. She's going to score. Wise Spirit asked his players to do something they've never done before. Give the other team the ball. This is a different side of the coach that they haven't seen before. Never have I willingly told them, hey, back up and let, let, this, let, let this kid score. <laughs> At what point during the game did you realize everyone is here to help you score a basket? At the point that I did it, because I didn't know that the other coach had went over to our coaches and said that. It took a few tries, but Lauren scored her first points ever on the court. That felt really good. Pretty cool feeling, huh? Yeah. How about you, Mom, watching the video? How did that make you feel? Pretty awesome. It was, um, you know, tear up every time I think about it because um, as a mom with someone with a disability, you just, you never know if that opportunity is going to come. And for a coach to go over to, you know, another, your, your coach and say, hey, put her back in because we want her to score. It is pretty awesome. I don't know how she ended up in the middle of my whole team, but as soon as the game was over, <laughs> My whole team surrounded her and was, was cheering her on. So. But um, it was just a sense of um, a sense of happiness, a sense of like, this is literally what youth sports is all about. Her mom, Tessa, was sick and couldn't make it to the game. But thanks to a few fans with cell phones, it's a moment everyone in the gym that day can cherish for years to come. Everybody that's seen the video are always saying that you're going to remember that as long as forever. Um, I beg to differ because that's something that I'm always going to remember. Just thank you because you saw um, past her disability and you saw her ability. And that's that's what we um, try to teach her. She has all the ability in the world. You know, it may take you a while to get there, but you've got all the ability in the world to do it. So thank you because no not problem. a lot of people would do that. No problem at all. And thank you for teaching um, your girls and the other people in that gym, what, what it's about. Thank you for competing. Continue to, uh, showing myself and my girls that, the, that there are bigger things than just basketball. Lauren started playing on her school's basketball team last week. She went from a rec league titan to a Colbertson Elementary School cowgirl. She 